Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Quick run through today on today's video about the new Suntu app with navigation and then also how it looks on your watch while you're running. Let's go. Be strong. Be strong. Today we're quickly going to have a look at the Suntu app navigation. It's a new update that happened the last couple of days within the last week and now you do not need Komoot anymore for navigation which is awesome, very awesome. Let me quickly show you how you do it. So in the Suntu app um, you just go to where you want to do your route, create a new route, little plus button at the bottom, create route put your starting point and then you just um, pop down your route as you want it so let's just create a pretty cool route here let's go that way and then as you basically put down your points it will just create the route which is awesome so much easier than the soon to app and then let's just go back to a so there we pretty much have our route and you'll also see mine's navigation is on at the moment there's these little turns that will show you where to turn and that's where the navigation is so also just remember if if you're running and there's no on your map it shows a turn it's not going to navigate you that turn unless there is a different direction that you can run if you're running and there's only a left turn you're going to go left but if you're running and there's a left turn and a right turn, it will navigate you there to say turn left, turn right, or whichever one, depending on how your route goes. It also doesn't say turn left now, argument's sake. It will tell you in 100 meters, turn left, in 80 meters, turn left. And as soon as you turn left, it will tell you uh, straight away how far your next turn is. So... It will say in 300 meters you're going to turn right. Um, I've noticed as well it does say the street name but it doesn't come out on my screen. Um, it seems that the screen's too small. They, they try and push too much information. It will be a very cool feature if they do that. But let's just quickly get back to this route. So we say done at the top. Um, let's name the route. Let's say into nav into navigation let's say done uh, use in watch let's say no for now let's just save it perfect and then yeah we have our route and now you can see at the bottom there's a turn by turn guidance if I put it off you'll see all the key points turn points will go away let's just zoom in there a bit if I turn it on um, they will all appear and it will show you basically if we zoom in where those navigations are going to be. Uh, so you can see this is quite a windy road. There's no navigations there. Also that right turn, there's no navigation there as you cannot take another turn. And then obviously sync to watch at the bottom here, which is awesome. It's pretty quick got my watch here you can see at the top it's busy syncing um, and yeah that's done navigation let's just go to our routes i've uh, got a couple on here soon to navigation there we go it's open it up and you can see looks exactly like it um, there are a couple of of things that they can still work on that I don't like you cannot navigate a saved route so for me I enjoy trail running uh, the trail run I normally do is not on heat maps um, it's not on any type of maps where it's a trail that's been ran a lot so if I take that trail run I save it go into that workout save it as a route and then load it back in uh, it doesn't give you the the option to navigate let's quickly have a look at that so this is the one that I have been doing at the bottom there is no option for navigation which is quite a bummer but I feel soon to is moving in the right direction with the app hopefully in a future update or so it will be out um, yeah let's go around the route 
let's see how the navigation goes.